physics using nanotechnology. But there's more to it than just making machines smaller. And Andrew Thomas, Thomas explains. It is, say those who will be working the most sophisticated laboratory for nanoscience anywhere with rooms and equipment dedicated to the study of atoms and photons. The environment needs to be tied. Well, this is one of the most self-contained rooms in the world. It's uh, incredibly isolated. We have shielding, uh, electromagnetic shielding. We have magnetic compensation. So we cut out everything, and what comes through, we cancel out. And those two things go ahead. This room is to get a multi-million dollar microscope. The microscope itself is so powerful that it can look at individual atoms. Now, if the room shakes a bit, then that vision is blurry, and I can't resolve the atoms from one another. Air temperatures and those of equipment are kept to within a thousandth of a degree, and even then, there are extra precautions. In this photonics lab, scientists carry out experiments on this table, which floats on a bed of high-pressure air to stop any vibrations from the ground affecting the relative movement of anything on it. Movement of even a few millionths of a millimeter would ruin experiments. Precision is important when the ultimate aim is for everything to fit on a chip. And mobile technology has to be increasingly smaller, particularly when it comes to um, computer chips, all our electronic devices. But nanoscience is about far more than miniaturizing technology or speeding it up. Scientists have discovered that at the nano scale, the normal rules of physics change. Objects can be separated over enormous distances, thousands of kilometers, with no communication between them, and yet it affects one another. Manipulating one changes the other. It sounds like voodoo. I've got a doll, I put a pin in it, and you feel a pain no matter where you are in the world. If somebody gave you a voodoo doll and said, this stuff is real, you would, I, would, I think, be shocked, and probably the next thought would be, what could I use that for technologically? Surely that's going to be a useful technology if I can harness it. What could you do if you could harness voodoo? So far, though the theory's been proved, it's not been harnessed for any practical purpose. But if it is, and it could be here, researchers say the potential is infinite. Andrew Thomas, Al Jazeera.